guys, what's going on? We're back again with another video. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched the other video, but we had some really cool pulls. We had some Sylveon alternate art uh, coming out of that Evolving Skies booster pack. Today we're going to get in some Fusion Strike. I got four booster, po bit of booster boxes of these. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to rip open. We have our elf here to help us out today. Alright, hopefully she'll bring us some good luck. That's Princess Elf, by the way. That's what my daughter named her. So much fun. I love Elf on the Shelf, dude. <laughs> Mischievous little Elf. So, highlights out of this set. Definitely going to be... Let's take a look at the list, guys. I'm going to get on here and look. Highlights for this list, let's see, Fusion Strike. We have the Selby alternate art. That's a that's a heavy hitter. Of course, we have like two Mew alternate arts. Uh, I really want the Greedent alternate art because it looks silly. Uh, Gengar alternate art. Um, yeah, we've got some really cool ones. I have the Mew full art, but the heavy hitters, the special rarity Pokemon is going to be the Flaffy. I have it also. And then, of course, the Rainbow Mew out of there. So, yeah, let's get right into it today, guys. We're going to just start tearing packs open. How's your Monday been? Has it been pretty good? Not too bad for me. Came home a little early, so I'm going to film this video. There's a code card. Like before, we'll do the first set, do the card trick, go through everything real slow. Uh, and then as we move on to the next set of the 16, then I'll just be flying through them. All right, we have a Metal Energy, Heat More, Cook. Morgrim, Eevee, Shinex, Shelmet. Let me adjust the camera here a little bit. Let's go up a little bit. Yeah, that's more like it. Drillbur, Bunnelby, Deoxys. That's pretty cool. I like that. And a Latios. Yeah, that Deoxys is a pretty cool card. I dig it. All right. We'll sleeve him up. I just feel like Deoxys should always be sleeved. <laughs> All right, moving along, guys. So if you guys got any chase cards out of this set, I know that uh, it is fairly new, so uh, we're moving along. It'll be brilliant stars next month. We'll be pulling some cards from that. Hopefully be getting a case full of those. All right, Water Energy, Cook, Morgrim again, Quick Ball. Makuta Matata, Panpour, Seawaddle, Skarmory, Jinx, Caterpie, and a Genesect. All right, Genesect V. Not too bad. I think I've opened one of these booster boxes before. Uh, two of them. Uh, maybe, yeah, two of them. I did pull a Gengar out of their VMAX, but not the alternate art. Lightning energy! Draclok, Corsvac, Shauna, Suwaddle. I'll oh, skip the card. Skarmory, Jinx, Mantine, Grubbin, Panseer, and a Cinescorch. So I've been looking at like how to do um, thumbnails for YouTube. I mean, if anybody has any suggestions on how to do that, uh, like cheaper applications than Photoshop, I know that you know it, it kind of looks stupid the way I have it set up now. But you know, hopefully, I can get it looking a little better. I'm gonna do some experimentation tonight. See if I can't find any, you know, cheaper options. All right, Battle VIP, Graveler, Mashana, Quillfish, Tanamo. I know I was watching Pokey Rev this weekend and him opening up that Holland Phantoms pack, that booster box. Tynamo, look at that, wow. And a Arcanine. That's a pretty cool card. Fan favorites, right? Uh, open that Holland Phantoms pack. I just can't even imagine spending $30,000 on a booster box. That would just be insane. I'd be shaking the whole time. I'd be like, oh, I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> All right, Coke card. Leaf Energy, Graveler. Still playing through Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I'm having a good time with it. 
um, I forgot how to do everything in that game, you know, because I haven't played the original in so long. And uh, finally, we got to the point where you go to the the um, oh the self self company where you could get the uh, whatever the periscope to see the ghost and stuff. Yeah, that's I just forgot everything about that because I was like I thought immediately you got the pokey flute to like go in and uh, wake up Snorlax, but apparently not. Uh, cross receiver, is this massage, Sydney. Didi, Growlithe. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool art. Phalanx, more Pekko. Man, he looks mad. Why is he so angry? All right, Smurgle, Diggersby, and a Dragon Bolt. Oh, okay. Pretty cool card. So, there's any other collectibles like you guys are into? I'm. Uh, you can kind of see in my background, I, I do collect retro video games. Not as much as I used to, but um, I do have a bit of my collection left. I definitely enjoyed it in the past years. It's just gotten a little too expensive. Uh, Fighting Energy. Semisage. Sydney. Battle Pass VIP. Dramaka. Sizzlepeed. Stuffle. Sandy Gast. Plusle. Skaters Park. And a Chandelier V. Yeah, retro gaming prices since the pandemic's kind of skyrocketed. Kind of like Pokemon, though. At least with Pokemon, you can go out and buy new packs, and it's still just as fun. Mm, maybe not as fun as opening old packs, but you know, it's a lot more plentiful. It's, the nostalgia's still there. All right, Fire Energy, Skaters Park, Low Punny, Marsh Top, Klefki. We were looking at this Pokemon. We think it's probably one of the worst designed Pokemon. Pan Sage. Woo! Pancham, Dramaka, Shelter, and a Gudra. I know that um, as I've been playing Pokemon Let's Go, of course I have to play it in handheld mode. Um, you can't play the Pokeball, which is not ideal for like just chilling in bed but it is very functional it actually works really good the motion controls do oh that nine tails though um my daughter she'll sit there and watch me play and it's so funny she'll sit there and just say daddy that's a nice pokemon don't kill it and i'm like i'm not killing i'm just knocking it out and she gets mad at me caterpie power tablet and a greedent v max Pretty cool. Yeah, as I play through that game, I realize like how bad I am at the Pokemon games. Like, I just I don't um, really remember <laughs> like in the old old ones like what to do. Psychic energy. Yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting, though, that they remade it so well with that Pokemon Go function. Which I'm hoping for Christmas, which is coming up in a few days, that I'll get Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And uh, be playing that this holidays. More cactus. Nothing good yet, guys. Like, what is going on? And maybe we ran our luck out. I mean, you'll see in this video, I... I I did a post after this one. I'm, I'm actually going to drop it. Uh, I dropped it a few days ago. Um, we're going to be doing a... Uh, I did an Involve Me Skies unpacking. Man, we got some good cards out of that. That's Sylveon. Beerware. Gumi. Aracuda. Snubble. Geodude. Sizzlepeed. My gosh. Let's see, guys. Let me... I've been knowing this the whole time. I'm sorry. Sizzlepeed. Trubbish. Mm, and a Electrode. Oh, not holographic. Okay. Move along. I picked from both sides. I didn't mix them up this time. Just see what we get straight out of the packs. Now we should still have that... Um, the... Uh, What's it called? The 
Um, yeah, the gold trainer card. Yeah, should I should. I like to have the energy. The gold the energy that would be awesome. Um, okay, we got water. Elsa sparkles, or Elsa sparkle. <laughs> Beware, skater boy, shroomy roomy, Kalefka, Trubish, Tutu, Phantom, Marcacta, which we just pulled, and a Furligator. Nice. All right. Haven't sent any cards out to get Grady yet. I don't know who to send them to. Like, I know there's a few companies out there that does it. We have, uh, you know, AG or yeah, uh, PSA, uh, Beckett, um, which Beckett seems like the industry standard. You know, to get cards graded because they're a little bit more um, stricter on things. So if you get a higher score, it's more of a um, more of a. I'll spit it out eventually. More of a, like it, it's like clout status basically. They are very strict on their grade, uh, which I don't know. I think they're a little bit pricey if I'm not mistaken. And I believe PSA is only letting you do Express right now, which is pretty high. I know that right now I have some N64 games that are getting graded by WADA. And WADA went through a big, huge scandal. And uh, Tyranitar V, nice. They went through a big, huge scandal. There's been all kinds of stuff. I've messaged them. Um, I mean, I'm not bashing anybody or anything. But I've I paid for forty five day grading and it ended up being uh it's it's been almost it's been over a half a year now I'm still waiting on those games so we're not like talking like you know something cheap we're talking you know thousands of dollars worth of games I sent off to get graded and I still have not heard back from them and or I've heard back from them, but they said it's gonna be several months still which I don't understand like I guess maybe they had a big you know fever of them or something I don't I don't know. Where the uh, Pokemon, or not the Pokemon, but the Mario's were going so high and the whole scandal about that, and we'll see. But then again, it, it also, you know, makes me question, like, what, what are the games going to be worth once they're graded? You know, if it had that notoriety of them being, you know, basically money laundering, that's what I want to say, which they did with sports cars in the 80s and 90s, and uh, it's... You know, I'm just like wondering, like, well, people be like, I don't really don't want a lot of games because they, you know, they kind of, you know, budge the grade on them just so they could sell them for more. But I digress. We're here to open up Pokemon cards. Skitty, Phalanx, Choodle, Bugcatcher, and a Bike of Old. All right, guys, we're going to speed run the rest of these. Totodile. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that Voltorb. That's a pretty cool card. And uh, Rollo Boom V Max. Nice. Okay. Go ahead and sleep him. He was actually the uh, starter that I used. Uh, Grookey. I used him in uh, Sword and Shield. I don't think it was a very good end game. Maybe I just, like I said, I suck at Pokemon games. But... All right. Next pack. We have a Cloyster. What am I doing? We're speed running these. Oh, wow. Toxicroak. Nobody wants that. Hmm. Growlithe. Wow. Grand Bull. Nobody wants that. Fart noises, right? All right. That's a pretty cool card. Marshtomp. Okay. Moving along. So, in the next video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Um, if we can reach, I'm going to set it small. If I could reach 50 subscribers 
by the end of January, which I'll have more details in the next video, if I can have 50 subscribers by the end of January, I will be giving away a, oh, that still looks, in that quick ball. I will be giving away a booster box of your choice from the Sword and Shield generation, whatever you guys want. If you want a Fusion Strike, whoever the winner is, they could pick a Fusion Strike. They could pick a Vivid Voltage, uh, Darkness of Blade, anything they want. Uh, we can, we'll get it mailed out to you. Um, you know, the only stipulation is I have to hit 50 subscribers. Um, you have to comment saying, hey, you know, we'll have a video for it. That's probably normal. Just comment, subscribe, plus also follow me over on my TikTok, and uh, that'll get you entered in to win. And we'll just do a random drawing. Oh, Greninja V, pretty cool. We still not have not hit the, any gold cards, which I'm hoping to hit a gold energy. This has been not a very good box. <laughs> We have a few packs left. I mean, we might get surprised. You know, you had us in the first half, you had us in the second half. Let's, uh, let's see. But yeah, we're going to give away some stuff. I think it'd, that'd be cool to give back if we get some subscribers. I know I'm just starting out, but I think that'd be a good way to get, you know, people engaged. Let me know what you think of the content, guys. Like, I'm not afraid to have some. Uh, Grim Snarl, that's a pretty cool card. Some uh, constructive criticism. If there's any ideas you guys have or anything I think should do, I, I, like I said, I'm just starting this and um, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun doing it. That's all that matters. And if you guys like it, that's cool too, you know? And I'm definitely having fun doing this. It gives me an excuse to open Pokemon cards. <laughs> so, let's see. Bunnelby and a uh, Gorbis. All right. More trash. Look at this trash. All right. And, oh, the Jinx and a Gollum. Look at that Snorlax. So do you guys have any elves on your shelves at your house? I know I do. I mean, my wife will wake up every morning and we're like, did you move that elf? And I'm like, yeah, uh, and she'll sneak out and move it, or I'll do it the night before. Sometimes I wake up early and do it, but it's so much fun to, to, to see her, you know, reaction to what the crazy elf did. All right, nothing good on that one. Boom! Verizon Wireless. Man, we have not pulled anything out of here, guys. I mean, nothing. I mean, one greed at VMAX. I mean, that's not. I'm not going to, you know, get pumped up about that. There's Toxtricity. Do you guys actually play the TCG online? I tried it. I thought it was pretty fun. I just couldn't. Uh, I couldn't get. It was kind of clunky. I don't know if that's a word for it. Like, I felt like the Game Boy game played better than the original one. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm a fool for nostalgia. Let's see. Oh, schoolboy trainer card. Nice. That's a pretty good pull today. I dig it. <laughs> he looks, I mean, he looks mean as all get out. Check that out. Pretty cool. All right. Let's get that Gengar. Let's get the Gengar. And Golem and a Lattice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Too bad it's not hollow. Next video, I think I'm going to open up some just random tins and things. Make it a little shorter of a video. I think that would be fun. Ooh, Mill Metal and a Pan Cham. That's pretty cool. Yeah, make do like a little tins and stuff. I have a couple celebration boxes that I've got at Walmart. I thought it'd be pretty cool to open up just to see what's inside those. I am on the hunt for the EV sets, the Evolution sets. I might have to, you know, try to get a hold of those. There's a cook and a Gorbis. Two packs left, guys. 
Not a Gengar in sight. And a Staryu and a Yevatol. Non-holographic. Last pack magic. We have to pack it, slap it, lick it, stick it. Let's get to it. Last pack magic, guys. What do we got? Sizzlepeed and a Rollaboom V. Oh, all right, guys. That is it. Nothing too extravagant, but I think I had a good time pulling them. What we did get. Let's run through these real quick. This is my second greet MP. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Rollaboom V. Schoolboy. Grim Snarl. That was just a cool card. I, yeah. Greninja V. Stellix. Oh. Rollaboom V Max. And then a Tyranitar V. And then a Greedent V Max. Pretty cool pull, guys. Not nothing that crazy. Nothing crazy, but uh, I think it was fun. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the content, don't forget to. Give me a thumbs up or a comment or let me know if you didn't like it, dislike it. I don't know. Um, we'll definitely be posting like a shorter video next time. And it's going to be some tins. I have like a Mimikyu uh, tin that we're going to be opening up. I got this at a uh, previous pharmacy. So, yeah. Until next time. Peace. Peace.